1916, after 400 years of oppression, the Arabs began a revolt throughout the Arabian Peninsula to gain independence from the Turkish Ottoman Empire. The British supported the uprising with arms and money, as well as a 27-year-old military intelligence officer, Captain T.E. Lawrence. Lawrence proved to be an inspirational leader and highly skilled at guerrilla warfare in the desert wastelands of Arabia. He led the Arabs in numerous raids against the Turkish railroad in the deserts of the Hejaz region. These raids cut off supplies and tied down thousands of Turkish troops, which otherwise would have been deployed against the Allied armies fighting in Palestine and Mesopotamia. For over two years, Lawrence was the guiding force behind the Arab revolt as the Arab army fought its way to the ultimate goal of Damascus. Lawrence was one of the greatest wartime raiders of the 20th century. His exploits in the desert were recorded for posterity by the American journalist Lowell Thomas, who helped to create the legend that became Lawrence of Arabia. Thomas Edward Lawrence was born on August 16, 1888, at the height of the British Empire. His father was an Anglo-Irish landowner named Thomas Chapman. Chapman left his wife to live with the children's governess and assumed the name of Lawrence. They had five sons together. Thomas was the second born. His mother, Sarah, was the dominant figure in the family. She fervently believed in education as the key to advancement. The family moved to Oxford, where all the sons went to the city high school for boys. Lawrence excelled in scripture and history, and became fascinated by biblical lands. In 1907, Lawrence competed for a place at Oxford University to study history. He came in 13th out of 4,675 candidates. At Oxford, he came under the influence of David Hogarth, a highly respected member of the academic establishment and a major player in the murky world of British military intelligence. With Hogarth's encouragement, Lawrence visited the Near East for the first time in 1909. Alone and living frugally, Lawrence undertook a three-month walking tour of Syria and Palestine during the hottest time of the year. He covered 1,100 miles and spent much of the time visiting castle ruins of the Crusaders. He made many drawings and plans reflecting his deep interest in military history. These were incorporated into his university thesis, for which he gained a first-class honors degree in 1910. He also joined the officer training corps, where he developed an expertise in firearms. He could shoot a pistol with either hand and always hit his target. Lawrence left Oxford University in 1910 and spent much of the next four years in the Near East. He joined a British Museum archaeological expedition on a dig at Carchemish on the Euphrates River in Syria, searching for artifacts of the...